Hi, I'm Will Raisin, and today I want to talk to you about the bushes and bungs and general accessories for the pole that I actually use. I've got one of my match kits here, and you see I've got a 2mm bush and a nice Dacron connector. It's only a number 4 elastic in here, it's one of my ones from the canal, but again, it works perfectly. In the bottom, I've got a puller bung, again, that is just situated in the number 3, a little bead with the elastic. Not only does this give me a little bit more elastic than, say, a side puller, but one of the reasons I like this is the elastic's very easy to change, very easy to tension. And also, with my match kits, I tend to use these more on non-commercials, more natural venues. And if I'm fishing on a river or a canal that's moving, what I like to do is to put my tip in the water. Again, you've seen me do this on rivers, you've seen me do this on canals or windy lakes. And this just aids my presentation and catches me more fish. If you have a side puller, and not a proper bung, then obviously you, the, the water can creep up your pole and make the tip very heavy and make the strike slightly delayed. So a nice decent bung and an airtight bush, that way you're not going to get much water going up. If you do have a side puller, obviously then the water can just track up your pole. I'm now going to show you my big bore top, which is one I use for 90% of my commercial fishing. Again, the big bore section is one long section that takes the place of the one and the two. It's one continuous section, very strong and the bore is slightly bigger, which is perfect for housing the hollow elastics that are, like you know, slightly thicker. 3.2 mil bush, Dacron connector. Now one of the slight differences is the side puller, Dara Inter Elastic. Again, it's situated 30 centimeters up, which is perfect to have the bottom of the, the, bottom of the number three section on your forearm when you're playing the fish. One of the main differences in this, just to make the elastic run, is one of the new Dawa PTFE nose cones. These are available now from the number three right the way up to the number nine. Not only is this fantastic for aligning the joints very quick, but when you're spending a lot of money on the pole, it's about caring for the pole. If you happen to drop it nose down, it's not going to dent the pole, it's not going to crack the pole or damage it in any way, and they really are a fantastic bit of kit. They go on to the number four, which again I use a lot, especially in the winter when I'm fishing fast, catching a lot of fish, it just enables me to really put the sections together quick and align them very, very quickly. Going on to my edge kit, which I have here. Again, this is a CTK5, and you'll notice a slight difference. Yes, I've still got the puller bung, it's not in the side. Again, when I'm fishing very heavy elastic for big fish, if I have a side puller, obviously I'm going to have less elastic. When I'm fishing for these big double fish here like at Gold Valley or various other commercials, I want as much elastic as I can get. And it might only be an extra foot, but that can make the difference between getting snapped and getting a double figure fish in. The only difference is, you can see I've got a nice purple hydro, but I've got a little bit, about two inches of coated Dacron, which I've stripped one bit of the, da the coating off so that it's quite limp. And what that enables me to do when I'm fishing very heavy mainline on a rig, say for instance I just used a normal, a normal Dacron connector, O20 would be coming off and creating what they call in the fishing world as a sail. It won't be going directly down. So the loop to loop would go on there and you get a little sail of line coming off and obviously this can affect your presentation. By using the coated braid, Obviously, whatever position you put the pole in, you can see I'm turning it, it always hangs directly down. You can even touch that in the water to really create perfect control. It's only something little, but like you know, I like to share my secrets in that, and I feel that this little bit of, of, of Dacron definitely aids my presentation, and that way it will definitely get me more bites. They're the kits that I use. You can see my short stop here for my F1 fishing. It's only very short. It's actually been sprayed silver. I did that myself just using some normal spray paint. Again, nothing different, nothing fancy. It's only for my edge fishing where I will have a slightly longer bit of Dacron. The, the actual silver tops will be available shortly from Darwa called Cloud Tops. They are a fantastic bit of kit for when you're fishing two foot or shallower or in two foot or lesser water. So they're the tops I use, the bungs, and the little bits and pieces just to round my pole off, and more importantly, look after the pole and protect it. 